ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Esquire of Excellence, Matthew Ryan Shapiro, and I'm here with the victorious JT Dunn and the helpful Kimberly. Guys, tonight you took a victory against Ken Broadway, but David Starr made his presence known here at the NYC Arena. I don't, I don't feel like a winner right now, and usually I'm, I'm really good at celebrating a hard-fought victory. I have bandages on my ribs, I'm pretty sure I have a concussion, and if it wasn't for Kimberly being here, I, it could be worse. Yeah, I could be covered in alcohol because of the antics of Ken Broadway and that little half-price hooker he brings to the ring with him. But first, David Starr, the balls that you have to show up here in House of Glory, clearly a place that you're not wanted at, and to sit amongst the fans and cheap shot me after what I just went through, you're a disgrace. You embarrass every single person who laces up their boots and fights for every single person out there. But right now, this isn't about us. Our war is gonna travel the, the most extended boundaries known to man. But this is House of Glory, the House of Juice. And Ken Broadway, you're eight shades of bitch, my friend. I don't, I don't believe your hype. I don't think everything that this locker room says about you is true. I think you're scared. I think you're intimidated, not only by me, <laughs> but by Kimberly when she dropped you on the top of the stupid haircut that you have. So August 21st, hell yeah, we accept. We're gonna beat you like you've never been beaten in your entire life. So please take this video, chop it into a nice edited segment, put it on YouTube, tag that loser on Twitter. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna block his ass. I'm sick of him trying to tweet me. This is annoying. This is very, very annoying. I am professional wrestling's savior. I don't belong in House of Glory getting treated like I'm some misfit. Ken Broadway, your fate is the same as everybody else who stands across the ring from me. And that's death by elbow.